In this case, I show you the difference between um, a drop-down menu of menu flyout, how it's called in Universal uh, Windows Platform app, Windows app, and um, and a complex, more complex one is this one. <coughs> As you see, this is a pop-up. This is uh, the fly out menu fly out or fly out, and this is the pop up. The difference is that with the fly out with the menu fly out, you have a simple list where you may have <coughs> a menu uh, coming from the upper side to uh, from top to down, and then some sub menus <coughs> which are not shown in here now. But this is a s simple list. And there's not a second row or something what you uh, maybe if you want icons there or something like this then it's not possible it's a simple drop-down menu <coughs> and on the other point we have this um, pop-up uh, UI element and the pop-up UI element is um, where you may do everything it's just like a frame or container and you may uh, insert there uh, a grid for example this is a grid and a SAML written but it's also possible to take any list or um, complex uh, UI elements in there now we have a look on our uh, how this works <coughs> when I use this uh, the first one in my main page my here the, here's the fly out the button fly out with a which is called menu folders this was the list when when you uh, which dropped down and I all what I did there I uh, set new menu items but the other point is more important when you have um, a pop-up then you simply have to insert here a pop-up and maybe you want to fix uh, w the place where it should be shown uh, in SAML, written in SAML, is simply by the position where you uh, enter it. Now, this is in a, in a grid on a button. If you have a button and uh, you may place the pop-up just um, aside of this button, then it will, uh, will be shown at this position. So this is pop-up at the grid 4 and what I did there is you don't need this one anymore what I did there is I've set the margin of the button that's what we see here here is when I select this uh, element it's like the big container then you may insert everything in inside there. Now I implemented a, a grid, for example, but you, it might also be a list container or something else like this. And then, uh, in this case, I took some columns and some rows, and I've set uh, some uh, text elements and buttons. So a pop-up is um, is like a base grid where you may or like a page where you may uh, enter everything what you want so how is um, is this shown it's the pop-up is shown shown by is open false and when you have uh, um, you have to uh, to uh, program the opening and the closing by a separate um, uh, object so this is done in, in this case by this button if I go there, then I say, okay, if the pop-up is uh, is open, then close it. Open, open, is open is false, else open that element. So this one is, if you click on there, open it, and close it, okay? So that's the difference between this uh, beautiful menu list of menu fly out but at the menu fly out you have no nothing else there there's not a second row or an icon or image I didn't find it uh, because in uh, in Windows applications it's usual that you have an icon in front of the in front of this element or on the back side 
So this is not done in U UWP. You have to, uh, it's a simple list and which is also placed on, it's made for the Windows Phone in primary, but um, but if you want a more, more, a little bit more complex element, then you have to use the pop-up uh, UI element. So that's it at the case uh, at the moment, and uh, I will implement or uh, this element uh, with a in the Mysuno work with a list element. So have a look on this uh, on the improvements which I will do, and maybe you visit my Photo Explorer at the Windows Store, and then you will see what's going on in programming.